Hi, everyone. This is Nashwa Abdulsalam with Heart Rhythm TV, and I'm joined by Dr. Vijaraman. Welcome. Thank you. And we're here to talk about the late breaking clinical trial, the results from co International Collaborative Left Bundle Branch Area Pacing Trial, the I Class study. Um, so, this is a study that compared left bundle branch uh, area pacing to uh, biventricular pacing in patients with an indication for CRT and EF less than 50%. So, can you give us a quick summary of the study and the main results? Uh, thank you. Um, this, as you mentioned, this is a combination of both uh, biventricular pacing and left bundle branch area pacing from about 18 centers across the globe. And we had presented these results in part before, but this is a combined group analysis. And there's significant differences between the groups at baseline. So we did a propensity match analysis. So we had a perfect match of 1,560 patients, 780 in each group. So we're able to demonstrate that when you have achieved successful left funnel branch area pacing, there is a significant reduction in the combined endpoint of death to heart failure hospitalization. These results were primarily driven by a reduction in heart failure hospitalization. And possibly because we get better electrical synchrony, so better mechanical response in terms of improvement in LV ejection fraction, I think the degree of EF improvement that you can achieve with left funnel pacing is higher than what you can achieve with biventricular pacing. And to add as an additional bonus, there was a significant reduction in arrhythmic events in this group. So. So um, what are the next steps for the future after this study? Thank you. One of the main reasons for doing this analysis is give us an understanding of what kind of results can we anticipate in a randomized trial. So we are already well into a randomized trial. We have about uh, 2,136 patient planned study. Uh, it's called Left versus Left. Dr. Ellen Bogan and Dr. Mikhail Chalu are spearheading that trial. And it's about one-fourth into the trial. We have enrolled uh, close to 500 patients. And another three years, we'll complete the enrollment and uh, well into follow-up. So we'll get an answer on that one. So that's one part of the uh, important aspect. The second aspect, left bundle branch area pacing, is a little bit complex uh, compared to his bundle tail uh, pacing in terms of assessing whether we have left funnel capture or we only have LV septal pacing. There's going to be a difference between when you have left septal capture only versus left funnel capture. I think having conduction system capture is going to be critical, and we need to have a better understanding, and we're working on more of those, uh, fine-tuning those criteria and helping physicians interpret better. That's one aspect. Uh, the second is, uh, how do we select these patients? Uh, who are those who are going to benefit from left funnel pacing? Who are those who are going to benefit primarily from biventricular pacing? There's still a lot of room to work on in this area. Not every patient is going to be benefited from left funnel pacing, and uh, not everyone is going to be benefited from bivy pacing. And lastly, there's the opportunity for combining both of these therapies to give the best possible outcome for our patients. Well, thank you very much for this quick summary and update. Uh, to all our viewers, please follow us on all social media platforms for more coverage of HRS 2025.